Mother's Day weekend, and you know what that means. <sighs> There's a mother-daughter movie at the box office. This time, it stars Amy Schumer and Goldie Hawn, and it's called Snatched. Because it's a little tongue-in-cheek. Get it? It's trying to be a little crude, but also a little not crude so that it can get away with it. Oh, the movie was funny. I did. Uh, I don't want to give it crap. Uh, it has like a 33% or something like that on Rotten Tomatoes. I feel like that's not really a fair rating, because when you think of, like, that as a grade, you know, if you were to get a 33% on your test, you'd be like, what? Man, I missed 70% almost. And that's not what this movie does. I wouldn't say it's 70% bad, 30% good. I would say uh, it's mostly good. Uh, it's not the the best movie I've seen this year, but, you know, uh, let's dive into it. There's Amy Schumer as an incredibly unlikable character, again, uh, who has her boyfriend break up with her, and she had this non-refundable trip that to South America that she still wants to go on, but she can't find anybody to go with, and she ends up going with her mom, and uh, Amy Schumer meets a cute guy who obviously is bad news, and they end up getting kidnapped, and then they have to trek through South America to get rescued. Uh, that's basically a quick synopsis. I would say that the preview did a fairly decent job of not ruining too much of the movie. There's an entire supporting character played by Chris Maloney, who is one of the bright spots of the film, uh, and he wasn't in the trailers for Snatched, at least the ones that I saw. So I thought that was really cool to see him pop up, and he offers so much to the film, and he's hilarious. So definite props to Chris Maloney. Uh, I really liked Ike Barinholtz as the agoraphobic brother to Amy Schumer, who is trying to save his mama, uh, who's played by Goldie Hawn. Uh, I thought he he was funny, and the banter that he has with the guy from the State Department is funny. Every time it happens, it's always funny. Goldie Hawn actually has a few good lines. Uh, she plays her part really well, too. Like, she's really committed to it. Even in, like, the more serious moments, that's when you can tell that you're working with an acting legend, is that she is pretty much perfect in every scene that she's in. Amy Schumer, on the other hand, I love Amy Schumer's stand-up comedy. I liked Trainwreck. I didn't love Trainwreck, but I think one of the problems with Trainwreck was Amy Schumer's inexperience in acting. And that shows again here in Snatched. I think this would have been a much better film if we had had a different female lead. I know that this is written to be an Amy Schumer vehicle, but... She's got to pick up on the learning curve a little bit faster than this because it's like watching Amy Schumer be Amy Schumer and not a character. You know, like she's, I get that that's her thing, but at least with Melissa McCarthy, when she tries the same thing out every movie, we feel like we're getting at least some kind of diversity on her character. I literally feel like this is a sequel to Trainwreck. She's that close to being the exact same person. And now it, it's it's not cute anymore because now you're doing more films than just train wreck. So you have to stop playing yourself and start finding a way to diversify your characters. And I didn't really get that from Amy Schumer. I think the movie would have been better with like Sandra Bullock in the lead. Uh, I think the movie, she wasn't, Amy Schumer wasn't funny to me. She made me laugh maybe like once or twice, but for the most part, the laughs came from Goldie Hawn and the supporting cast. Wanda Sykes and Joan Cusack included in that supporting cast, as well as uh, Baron Holtz and Maloney. I thought uh, they carried the film. They're the reason to see this film. Schumer is not really the reason to see this film, which is shocking to me. I didn't really like her character. I found her unrelatable, unlikable, um, and not really a good actress. Especially in the few serious moments where she, like, really gets serious. I was like, this is really bad. 
uh, so she kind of pulled me out of the film a little bit. Um, the film is shot well. Uh, it's it's okay for what it is. It has some cool shots in the jungle. Uh, it doesn't rely on special effects, so that's something. So it doesn't have anything visually bad in the film. Uh, the writing is okay. Uh, I think a lot of the jokes that landed were probably mostly improv. I have a feeling Ike Barinholtz improv a lot of that scene. If not, he's really good at making it feel incredibly natural. There are funnier movies this year, but this one is funny enough that I would still say go see it. I'm not really sure if it's the best Mother's Day movie. Uh, I guess, I don't know, Amy Schumer's character is such a giant fuck up that I don't know. This is not, this is a weird movie for me to say. I wouldn't have wanted to see it with my mom. Uh, it's not necessarily too crude to watch with your mom. Um, there are a few moments, but it's train wreck was definitely more of a hard R than this. Uh, if you're trying to measure it to train wreck, they did soften it up, thinking that mothers would be taking, I mean daughters would be taking their mothers, but that doesn't necessarily mean you should. I don't know. If you take your mom to it, uh, let me know in the comments what what kind of experience that was for you. Um, I would not take mine. That's just me. So, uh, Snatched. It's currently out in theaters. It's a pretty good movie. Goldie Hawn's great. I'd love to see her back. I hope she does more stuff. And I'm going to give Snatched a B-. minus. Yep. B minus. Which is, I mean, that's like if I was on Rotten Tomatoes, it would get a fresh rating for me. So I would help boost that 33%. So uh, anyway, check, uh, comment below if you've seen it, if you liked it. Otherwise, subscribe, watch more videos. I'm going to have King Arthur coming up here in a little bit. That's it.